Hey guys, how's it going? Groovy Lava Squirrel Medic here, and I'm here with a little man, Monkey Devin. And today we have another sauce review, this time from Pucker Butt Pepper Company. And we are going to do the El Jefe Taco Trio. So we have three different sauces. That's what trio means. Tri three. I get Trace. Trace. So we got the uh, Taco Verde, the Taco Rojo, Rojo and the Taco. Loco, yeah. See, this label fools you because it's purple. Yeah. Now, disclaimer, I tried these sauces. I couldn't wait. But we're going to get a good review anyway. That's why they're open. That's why a little bit's missing out of each because I, I watched a video of uh, Heat 101 doing so many tacos, and it just looked so good I had to try it. So I, I got so many tacos and put sauce on it. I had not tried it. So, three sauces. Three sauces. So you want to start which way? Um, lightest to hottest. So, mildest to hottest. So I think the mildest is the verde. Then the rojo. Then the So, rojo. if you look at this sauce. It's very it's, chunky. It's very chunky, but it's also thin. It's a weird consistency, but it looks amazing. So let's talk about the ingredients. So we got distilled vinegar, onions, green jalapeno pepper mash, which is jalapeno peppers and vinegar, lemon juice from concentrate, lime juice from concentrate, garlic, cumin, kosher salt, and turmeric. <laughs> what are you doing, weirdo? <laughs> no. You better knock it off or I'm going to start dabbing in the video and embarrass you. No. People love school and so I think okay. it is. So... The El Jefe Taco Verde. And I don't know the entire story of the guy that's on the bottles, but I think uh, they said he's like the main guy when it comes to, I think, like getting the peppers, like picking them. Are you okay? I don't know why I get that bad. Because you're weird. So, are you ready to start with the verde? So this is jalapeno. You ready? So, let me make sure this is closed. Don't want to shake it up and get it everywhere. All right, let me have your spoon. Give me a little bit. I will give you as much as I want. <laughs> Don't. You gotta be very careful with this sauce. No regulator, so it comes out. So you gotta be very careful. I had to clean the sides off each one of the bottles because it is very chunky. I may have overindulged in the sauce. And chugged some of it. No, I didn't chug any of it. So, the El Jefe Taco Bear Day. Today was a bad day to wear lipstick. <laughs> Today is a great day to wear lipstick. You ready? Three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. So right off the bat, I get the um, lemon and the lime juice. Like really, it's got sourness. And then... Um, I get the jalapeno, and I think it finishes off with the, it's a great verde, very fresh, but it finishes off with the jalapeno, and you get a little bit of the vinegar, but not um, a heavy dose where it overpowers the pepper and the sauce. What do you think? I think it is a very great sauce. The jalapeno, I mean, what pepper is in it? Jalapeno. The jalapeno starts off like small and then it gives it a little bit of heat, but not so much heat. So, when you're talking about a little bit of heat, what do you think your heat scale for this would be? Zero to ten. Well, it goes up to a little bit of heat, but as soon as you swallow it, there's no heat at all. Okay, so what would you put it at? I would do it as a zero. I think it's a one. I think it's a one. I think if somebody were to get this, I mean, it's really a fresh tasting sauce. Go would go great on like tacos or any of that stuff. It'd be great. Um, but I don't want people to to uh, assume that there's no heat in it whatsoever because you do get a little bit of the mouth heat, but it doesn't linger for that long. It's got great flavor. Can I drink some of this? 
Maybe at the end. Yay. <laughs> what? It's a good size. All right, so that is the birdie. What's next? Whoa! -ho. She's so weird. Right. <laughs> so the El Jefe Taco Rojo. Whoa! -ho. Whoa! -ho. I, I can't say it. I, I can't. All right, so ingredients: distilled vinegar, onions, chili de arbol pepper mash. So chili de arbol peppers with vinegar. Uh, lemon juice from concentrate, lime juice from concentrate, garlic, uh, cumin, kosher salt, turmeric. <laughs> She's gonna get grounded on a video. She's gonna get grounded on a video. What and y'all are gonna witness it. What did I do? It doesn't matter what you did because I'm gonna watch the video and I'm gonna see what you did and then you're gonna be grounded. Okay, I'm gonna end the video then. No, you're not. Sit down. <laughs> All right, so this is more of a medium heat. Uh, arbol pepper. I don't, I don't really know what that is. Arbol pepper. Why are you? Why are you <laughs> such a giggle box today? Arbol. Arbol. And it colors red. Oh man. Red bull. That one is got some serious chunk to it. I mean, they're all kind of the same consistency, but you can definitely see the. Rojo peppers, red peppers in there and stuff like that. So you ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go. That sauce. Oh, there's a black piece in there. Yeah, that's part of the peppers and all that stuff. You're good. Don't spill it. Oh, they can't see it. That light is too bright. I need to get my other new lights in here so we can actually get good without this ring light. That's right. A new light that we have. Oh, so it definitely has chunkiness. We're seeing the, see some seeds, see some flecks of pepper. I see some red. Yeah, that's the pepper. You ready? No red. <laughs> yeah, red from her lipstick. That's not part of the sauce. All right, ready? Three, two, two one. Mmm. Now, I usually love verdes. But I like this one better. I... Tell me what you think about... Tell me about the flavors. So, I'm always talking about what I taste first. What do you think? Okay. So, it's still a good sauce. But the pepper in there... It... Builds up a little bit, mm -hmm. and then when it's and then when you swallow it, it kind of has a weird taste in your mouth. Kinda. Weird taste? I think it's um. I think it's more of a, a it's a sweet, a sweet pepper. So it's it's not what I'm expecting with you know you got lime and lemon juice, then you got the vinegar, but the sweet pepper, great flavor off the bat, but um. Aftertaste. I don't think it's a, a bad taste. I just think it's it's different. It's got that sweet aftertone. So let's talk about heat. What would you rate on the heat scale? Well, it's it's kind of like this one, but a little bit harder mm -hmm. than this one. So what would you put it at? I would do it at I would say one. It doesn't have very much heat in it. I have it as a two. Maybe you are becoming a bigger chili head than I am. Ha ha. I had this one as a one, she had a zero. I have this one as a two, she has it as a one. Ha ha. Oh, we're about to see on this last one though, because now it is time for El Jefe Taco Loco. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so let's talk about the ingredients real quick. Now I can tell you, when I sample this, this one's hot. This one's hot, so don't let the purple label fool you. It's very unassuming. Don't let Pucker Butt trick you. That's true. Because uh, I went all out on just one mini taco with this thing, and that was a mistake. All right, so ingredients. Distilled vinegar, onions, reaper pepper mash, lemon juice from concentrate, lime juice from concentrate, garlic, cumin, kosher salt, turmeric. So all of these... All three of these 
have the exact same ingredients, the only difference is the pepper. Dun, dun, dun. Are you nervous? <laughs> yeah. I would be too. All right, so I got, I mean, look. Look at that, look at all that peppers right there. Oh man, this is gonna be straight Reaper. Ooh. Stop being silly. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to get loco? Y'all heard that, right? Y'all heard that? I'm not crazy? Yeah. Wait till she does that like one or two in the morning. Scary. I did not do that. That she knows of. <laughs> it's Let's... called... That is just straight Reaper. <laughs> She's loco. She's loco. No, I'm, I'm about to give her a sauce that's going to make her even more loco. So I'm only going to give you a little bit of this one. Because this one, I can just tell from the smell and when I tasted it prior, this is going to be hot. Okay? Hey, my demon voice is not as bad as a snoring. As my <laughs> snoring? I don't snore. <laughs> yes, you do. No, I don't, don't tell people that. <laughs> Oh. Hey, it's payback. We're, tying, we're telling a lie. So, we have pepper chunks, we have seeds, and just pouring it on this little spoon, that reaper smell hits right in your nose. So, this is going to this is gonna hurt. You got your water? Because we're going to be tough. We're going to get through it. We're not going to get up and run around the house screaming. <laughs> And we're not going to go spit up stuff in the trash can because I gave you the littlest amount I could possibly give. And you'll drink water and we'll review the sauce. Got it? Okay. Put your water down. Three, two, two. one. Okay. Mm. It's hot. It is definitely hot. Classic, just straight. It's kind of like that time I ate that fresh reaper. Mm. <clears throat> it's hot, so all over, mouth burn, back of the tongue down the throat. The flavor, I'm not the hugest fan of uh, Reaper overall, but I think with the lime juice, the lemon juice, and everything, I think it mixes very well. But it's definitely hot. Ooh, your eyes are kind of watery. So, what do you think of the sauce? Well, the Reaper, The reaper goes straight onto your tongue. That's where the sauce goes, yes? It goes straight. Oh, you're talking about the burning just starts all of a sudden, just really fast? Yeah. Okay. I was saying, it went to your tongue. I'm like, I hope it went to your tongue. You didn't just, like, pour it down your throat hole. That'd be weird. <laughs> and then it stays on your tongue for a while. Yeah, still going. I mean, it's starting to dissipate a little bit, but still definitely there. Do you have dragon breath right now and you can breathe fire? No, I cannot. All right. So let's talk about heat. So I'm going to say what my heat level is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold my hands up and I want to see if we have the same. So don't be cheating. Okay. Three, two, one. Finally. <laughs> Four. Finally, we had the same agreement. I think that is a good hearty four and could, depending on how much you put on, I think it could very easily go into a five. But, okay, so which one did you like the best? You like the verde? Yes. 
Okay. <gasps> the reaper. Yeah, the reaper's still going, still burning. It's stuck in my throat. I think, flavor-wise, I would go with the verde, but if I wanted to add some heat, I think this would be my go-to sauce. The rojo would be the go-to sauce. Are you really gonna take a drink out of that? Yes. Not a lot, don't be crazy. You're still going to school tomorrow. I know. All right, take a drink. Three, two, one. That's enough. So, mission accomplished? <gasps> that was a mistake. Yeah, it was. That's okay. Take a drink of water, because we need to do our sign-off. Okay, that's enough water. Let's go. All right. So, mission accomplished? I can't hear you. Mission accomplished? Mission accomplished. All right, guys. So, that is the El Jefe taco trio from pucker butt pepper company i highly recommend you go to their website check it out order them they are phenomenal uh and it's got something for everybody in the household everybody in the family so you got the mild you got the medium and you got the hot for the ones that just like to be adventurous but and we love P pucker butt pepper company don't we yeah we do sport the gear we oh, have them. way too many hot sauces that we need to review from Pucker Butt. Show them they the have back. seen the back of the shirt before. Yeah, I know. So if it doesn't make your butt pucker, it's not a Pucker Butt pepper. We love that slogan. All right, guys. So that's it from us. Go check these sauces out. And they have so many other sauces and different creations and tinctures. And they also have from all these other different companies selling there. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, from Groovy Lava Squirrel Medic and my little mad monkey, Devin, it's been a fun, good day, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one, guys.